and welcome to UK Buses. Today we are talking about backups. People already were as to what backups are at this point and if you're not, go check out the article on the UVS website or check out any of the lovely content creator videos on backups. I will briefly touch on what they are. What is a backup? Backups are a new card type that was introduced in Attack on Titan Battle for Humanity. These cards, similar to assets, build in either through building in as played as backups or we have shift attacks where these are attacks that transform into backups at the end of your turn when you play them as a card so when they are down they have their own abilities and they have their stamina number this is not to be confused with health it cannot be healed similar to assets a backup sits in your stage and has abilities that use their stamina as cost as well as a lot of them have committal costs and similar to assets they cannot be used to pass checks outside of particular effects such as Hague but unlike assets they can be dealt with a lot easier that is because you can attack backups and you can take their stamina down through dealing damage this was introduced and people thought it was a great idea it's a way to deal with backups and the backups that we've got are not particularly too powerful at the moment but some of the shift backups are but they have their own drawbacks being very costly attacks which means that you negate your kind of defensive capability defending backups is very hard because when backups were introduced it was also stated that you cannot block attacks that are put against backups this means that if you have your attack titan backup or you have your colossal titan backup you cannot stop attacks that go for it through blocking you can use abilities on your foundations and assets such as cape of no return to remove the attack you can use deflect to reduce the amount of damage but you cannot block and defend your backups and as someone quite rightly pointed out and this creates a sort of imbalance in power where your opponent can launch attacks that have on damage effects like tasty riff which basically says you get to draw cards and then discard down to your hand size because they can just deal damage you haven't got a way consistently to stop that meaning that your opponent has a ways to trigger strong abilities that you don't get to interact with and that actually doesn't seem unfair or in the spirit of this game universes is a fighting game and it incorporates some of the best shonen animes it has some of the best mangas it has comics and games and cartoons coming into it that have all got one very big trait about them and that is the heroes of these stories will sacrifice themselves to protect others and you yet we cannot block a backup. We cannot block our backup, essentially. That is a huge flavor loss. Being able to defend backups would allow for more interaction around abilities, would allow you to defend against what's going on, would be able to negate what we covered in a previous video, the fact that you can get a setup of foundations that if an attack deals damage, you can then start hitting your opponent with burn damage from these effects. And although the backups we have at the minute aren't great, and people are just like, well, I don't need to attack backups, and they don't. these guys don't really need defending but backups to be successful they need to be powerful similar to assets and we need to see more powerful backups and then we need a way to defend those backups having cards such as destroy enemy backup is fine in my idea but if you're making the choice to attack my backup that creates an aspect of the turn which is uninteractive unfun and really goes against the heart of the game if my opponent is attacking Hacking into my colossal titan backup i know i can't block this i'm not going to waste my defensive resources on it maybe i might do some damage reduction. chances are for that entire attack string i am just sitting there saying pass 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 and i'm sure many people who have played this game and sat there been in that situation where their opponents just pop it off and playing solitaire and you're just sat there going yeah pass 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 you kind of eventually get to the point of just let me know when you're ready to go. It's just one of those things that you have all these abilities, you built this deck to be a well-rounded defensive machine and there's one aspect of the game that you don't get to interact with and that is kind of disappointing to me. As much as I do enjoy the fact that we get to set off all these triggers, we do get to, it creates an imbalance of power where your opponent is basically going unchecked to resolve these abilities to pop off 
and attack and do their game plan that you do not get to interact with because the game has told you you don't get to. And that, to me, is where this is starting to kind of ring in. If we start to get more powerful backups, if we start to see more characters like Beast, Titan, and Hague that have backups as their game plan, then not being able to defend them doesn't make any sense to me, especially since we didn't see any deflect in Attack on Time, which is something I thought was going to be coming in as a backup defensive tool. That to me seems like a bit of a missed opportunity to take into comparison to what a lot of people are comparing them to. Planeswalkers in Magic the Gathering, you can defend them. You can take your creatures you have and you can block attacks coming in against your planeswalkers. So why can't you with backups? If you are a control deck, if you are looking to utilize your defensive abilities, being able to block attacks that are going against backups will allow you to essentially stop the next attack or be able to to block attacks the first attack that's going into backups allowing you to interact with these attacks allow you to set up your defensive pieces allow you to use your breakers use your keikos it is very very cool and i think the best defensive card we have for backups at the minute is runaway which means you're just taking the hit for the backup but it's not great and i do agree with some of the people are now taking a look at the situation and now going we should be able to defend backups and they're not wrong backups i need to get more powerful they need to be more consistent because they have a lot of potential to be very good in the future of the game but if we can't defend them no matter how powerful they are if they're just going to get wiped out the turn they're played what is the point of playing them so levels coming up so if i drop down a beru backup that just comes in for my jinwu soul level encounter and i go cool next turn i'm gonna pop off with beru it's gonna let me go get an attack that i can play and my opponent just goes yeah no die and I'm like cool i had all these defensive pieces in my hand that could have allowed me to protect Baru, but I didn't get to play them because he's a backup. And it means I don't get to filter my hand. If I've got five foundations in my hand, and I'm like, cool, I need to block to get some of these cards out my hand so I can attack my next turn. My opponent goes, yeah, I'm just going to keep attacking your backup so you don't get to come through. It's, it's like, cool, I'm not dying, but I am losing resources, and my opponent is completely in control of the flow of the game, which is not fun and is not as interactive as this game is meant to be. Backups having minimal defense is not a good interaction in my opinion i can understand why they want to stop blocking because they want them to be easier to deal with through their health totals but if something's that big of a threat launching two or three attacks to get rid of it kind of makes sense be able to hit it below the stamina point it needs to be able to use its abilities makes sense what do you think do you think that we should be able to block backups do you think backups are fine the way they are or is it something that we should put a pin in and come back to after origins of power or apocalypse where we can see more titan backups and hopefully even more backups from other things like critical role and tmnt and talk about the power of backups and how we should be utilizing and protecting them if you do want a video of me more explaining the details of a backup do let me know because backups are very cool and i do like to talk about them but someone had brought up that we should be able to defend backups and i realized that i was so busy thinking about how the cool interactions i can get from cards that do stuff on damage i never Never considered whether we should be able to just do this free damage i don't think we should i think you should be able to defend your backups what do you think let me know and i'll catch you next one